usually you have to start to say thank you to all the people that kind of are involved to get me there. I want to keep it short and just say to uh, whom it may concern, that includes you, Jim. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I have my speech ready. I don't know if somebody has seen a file that's, well, 70 pages or something. Uh, wait. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll do the short version. <coughs> first of all, the first time I met other leather crafters that were into leather carving, that was in 1988 in the Federation show. I had long hair, bandana in my hair, didn't wear no cowboy hat, and got into a crowd of people that if I would have crossed them in the street, I never would have talked to me, and they certainly never would have talked. And I never would have talked to them, and they certainly never would have talked to me. That was my first big lesson, that we had a passion. Passion is something we share. And what I learned there is to look into uh, to other people what they have in common with ourselves which builds bridges, and we've seen here we're a huge family, and I already mentioned back then we're a family. Now, we're all uh, holding a tradition in our hands, and it is important to give this tradition further down to future generations. We're dealing with a human heritage, and we need to keep this patrimony alive, because, uh, I mean, what world would we leave behind for Jesse? Smith. Uh, uh, yeah, there's been a lot of talking tonight, so I'm just going to keep it short. It's just one thing about knowledge. Few people or many people have the impression that knowledge is power, and it's exactly the opposite. If you know something that somebody else doesn't know, you're at their service. And that's something you should keep up and keep in mind. To know is to be at the service for those, who, uh, for those who don't. I guess I'll keep it at that. Thank you very much. Ow!